Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. I promise to show you how to make some more complex shapes with your 3D pen. So today we are going to make the Holy Grail, which will give us a chance to try our hand at convex and concave paraboloids and a bicone, and then join it all together into a project. Like this. Joining shape is super useful for just about any 3D pen project you make. So let's get to it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to know more. You will obviously need 3D pen and filament. And for contour lifting your shapes, you will also need 3D Made Mat, which I separated into segments and we are going to use just the circle part today. Then we will need two special tools, carousel and spacers. These are tools you can make yourself with minimal time and money investment. And my videos with instructions for both are in the description, so check it out. I like to use color-coded printout under my mat segment, so I can easily see which circle I'm working on next without having to measure or count them all the time. Saves a lot of time and prevents accidentally making the wrong size circle. For contour lifting a cylinder or a cone, you can just use two pieces of square dowel because the spacing between the circles is the same in all the layers. However, for more sophisticated shapes like paraboloids and spheres, you will need to be able to have a finer scale of gradual vertical increase in between your layers. Kind of an upward going ruler. And that is where these spacers come in. If you use the spacers in ascending sequence, you get a convex shape. And if you use them in descending order, you get a concave shape. So let's see this process of contour lifting. If you haven't heard of contour lifting before, please watch my video on contour lifting a cone which explains the basics of this process. The link is in the description. Always connect the first layer to the center axis. That will allow you to move your project on and off and always have it perfectly centered to add the next layer.
Now, for the base of our grail, I will use the spacers in the opposite order, starting with the larger going smaller. I want to make a decorative shape for the transition from the base to the cup part, so we'll put a small bicone there. It's time to go to a smaller circle again and this gives me a chance to show you one feature of the contour lifting that we didn't discuss yet. It is super easy to connect smaller circle to a larger one. Even the same size circle to a same size circle. However, going from larger back to smaller gets a bit awkward. It requires you to stick your hot pen nozzle right under the project and that may melt it and distort it. So let's stop right there and start at the other end and join the two halves of the bicone later. Now if you make two full halves you will end up having a heavy seam in the middle because you are doubling the largest circle. So I usually stop one layer early and join the shape by placing the larger part upside down, stabilizing it, then balancing the spacers on top of it and then adding the smaller half. to check if we are happy with the size and proportions of our cup. All we need to do now is to join the three parts together, but before I will do that, I want to put some more decorative fill, which is easier done while my shapes are still apart. So we'll do that first. 
First I will increase the density of my network and then add some decorative design. For the clarity of this video I will show you this step in some brighter colors than what I actually used on my grail, just so you can see it better. And this part is entirely up to your preference. You can have it as dense or as see-through as you prefer. Now let's see a bit in real time. If you want it really densely filled, you can fill the inside too, after you have edited some of the inside circle braces out. This fill will obviously not hold liquid, but I prefer the four cut glass look it creates. Plus, making completely solid surfaces is a time-consuming and labor-intensive process. So watch out what you sign up for. Now it's time to join the parts and edit out any crosshairs we don't need. Here, the quest for the Holy Grail completed. We have made some fancy shapes, but there are more. In the next video, we will make a sphere, so stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it.